So this is Vulture Mine. Yeah. The shafts don't exist anymore because they're either collapsed or condemned. You don't want a rock to fall on your head, but as you can see, the yep. bones of the ghost town that surrounded the mine and were funded by it still remain. You've really, uh, really outdone yourself this season. Yeah, I just kind of looked into places that would make me want to die, and I think this checks that box. Yeah, it's pretty imposing. I think you nailed it. It's gross. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate Vulture Mine and its surrounding ghost town in Wickenburg, Arizona, as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? Shane, you've always told me that in a fantasy world where ghosts exist, your word's not mine. Fantasy, that, yes. <laughs> that the only place that would be haunted is a mine. So, yeah, seems like a lot of misery, a lot of suffering, and people get trapped in them. So if ghosts were real, I would put my money on mine. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, maybe tonight you'll get lucky then. Season premiere, we're gonna look around this Jesus. Disgusting. Did I just blind you? Yay, man. Good, good, good. It'll give you the vision. Okay. We got a car back there. We got some bushes. Uh, I can't think of a better way to kick off the season, right? Great. <laughs> just don't shine your light in my face. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. In 1863, a prospector named Henry Wickenburg found a quartz deposit with gold in Arizona's desolate Sonoran Desert and founded Vulture Mine. The mine quickly became Arizona's most successful gold mine. Imagine, if you will, a mine so rich that between 1863 and 1942, it produced over 340,000 ounces of gold and 260,000 ounces of silver. To put that into perspective, the gold alone would be valued today at a shade over $430 million. Ooh, you could do a lot with that. Yeah, right? that's, a, that's safe to say. I guess I didn't realize that places were actually flush with gold. Yeah. I thought one person would show up, find a pound of gold, and then 500 other people would come and be sad. No, this, these hills were literally leaking gold. <sighs> and it was just there for the taking. It's the only reason I would have wanted to be alive back then. Just that, so I could pl plunder metals. <laughs> the mine was so lucrative that an accompanying mining settlement called Vulture City was built in 1866 to meet the needs of the many new miners, with a population of as many as 5,000 residents. That's a lot for back then. I know that seems like a small number. Here it is, yeah. But for here, that's, that's, that's overflowing. A boom, a boom town. Just stood in the street. just being in a town full of people who just do what you do? That just love gold. Yeah. They're, they're there for greed, essentially. This was a town running. What are you running. here for? I love gold. I love gold too. I love gold as well. Yeah, that's, that's everyone. That's everyone in the town. By the 1890s, there was a serious downturn in the mine's productivity. However, it wasn't until the outbreak of World War II that mines not essential to the war effort were shut down, ultimately forcing Vulture Mine to close. This once booming city of gold now sits vacant as a ghost town collecting only cobwebs and dust. Eerily, skeletons of the town still remain. Dilapidated buildings and leftover landmarks of tragedy are said to be haunted by those who never left. So this is the, uh, this is the old ghost town. Looks part of ghosting. Vulture City. There's the assay building. What's up here? That's the bordello. Ooh. That's the hanging tree right there. The area in general has reports of disembodied voices, cold spots, spirit orbs, and apparitions. That being said, take a drink. There it is. <laughs> Whoever, whoever's playing the unsolved drinking game, that being said, that being said, I'm gonna get you all tanked this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, let's go over the highly active locations of this abandoned city. The first place we'll visit is the old generator room a dingy warehouse that once powered the entire mining operation. It is here that the current owner of the mine claims a worker met an unfortunate fate. You don't feel even a little creeped out? No. Of course, according to the current owner of this mine, somebody got pulled into this machine and grinded up. I don't really know what this machine does. It's a people grinder. <laughs> Not a people grinder, I'm sure. It's a people grinder. I'm sure it was used to grind, uh, to conduct energy, not to make people into little little beef patties. Talk to us if you're the guy whose guts got all spun around up into the rafters. Any, sure. Anything what, from you? What he said. I didn't like it. 
<laughs> it wasn't fun. Yeah, what do you expect? What insight are you trying to gather from here? <laughs> All right, if there's anybody in here right now with us that wants to say anything, make a noise. What is that? What is that? We walking around. What the fuck? Should we go see what it is? Yeah. Here's a little snake. A snake with footsteps? Can you imagine a little snake wrapped around like a little uh, pickaxe? Show a little hat on. Oh boy. You heard those, right? That wasn't me just being crazy. I mean, you heard metal moving around. I'm not trying to do that whole dismissive thing, but I'm dismissing it. One last time, we're about to head out of here. All right, all right, man. You just gotta- Okay, I just chill, I gotta chill. You just gotta chill. I'm gonna chill, chill. it. I'm gonna yeah, chill it. Chill it. Vulture Mine is also where the notorious Jacob Waltz, or as he's come to be known, the Lost Dutchman. Oh, like... <laughs> he sure does sound lost. <laughs> Go on. The Lost Dutchman likely worked as a foreman for several years. Allegedly, Waltz was one of the worst thieves the mine ever saw. Waltz also claimed to have a secret mine in the Superstition Mountains where he would return with enormous quantities of gold. To this day, nobody has found the location of Waltz's mine, now referred to as the Dutchman's Lost Mine. Though, some believe the Lost Mine doesn't exist and that the gold Waltz claimed to find there was merely gold that he stole from Vulture. Yeah, it was 100%. <laughs> <laughs> He's just showing up with pockets full of gold and people are like, uh, Where'd you get that, you Jacob? Get that? I found it out in the hills. It's from my secret mine. Only I know where it is. Don't check my word. It only appears to me at midnight. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to deterioration, the actual mining tunnels are no longer safe for entry, but there is one place open for visitors that serves as a massive tombstone to former webs of mining tunnels. This spiritually active area is unfortunately referred to as the glory hole. I thought glory hole used to mean something very innocuous though. It was innocuous back then. Uh huh. But this is not what I was about to say. It got that name because penis is what <laughs> no, It's uh, where the men fucked the earth, hoping to impregnate it with gold. The glory hole is a reported site of great tragedy. <laughs> tell, me, tell me all about the tragedy, Ryan. In 1923, this cavern collapsed after one of the stone support pillars was overmined for the valuable ores inside of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> They were mining the support beams? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I don't think you should do that. That's a sup no, there's gold in here, I know it. Mind your own business. I'm gonna strike it big on. <laughs> the collapse killed seven miners and 12 burrows, leaving their bodies trapped and undiscovered in the rubble. Former caretaker Marty Hagen believes the collapse occurred because the seven ill-fated miners were stealing, thus chipping away extra without regulation. He believes part of the reason their bodies remain is due to the fact that they were thieves and a proper burial was in high priority. Just imagine all that we're standing in was just miles of elaborate, complex, intertwining tunnels. 13 miles? 13 miles. And That's now just all in one fatal swoop gone, burying people down below. That's crazy. That being said, <laughs> A bug flew up my nose. Yeah, I think I've swallowed about six tablespoons of bugs at this point. <laughs> if there's anybody who wants to let their presence be known, say something, move something, maybe even throw something. Rock slide would be very efficient. God, I feel like I can't believe I'm provoking these people. It's so silent. Aside from the bugs in my ears, yes. Is it true that you stole gold and you were down here when you weren't supposed to be? You took a little bit more than you should have, and that's why you got crushed to death. Ooh, geez, that was pretty A bat rough. flew right behind you just now. Are you serious? Yeah. That bat was straight up going for your ass. It was yeah. an ass bat. All right, well, I think we're gonna leave. Maybe I'll hear you later when I analyze this audio. Or, according to Shane, it'll just be uh, rocks rustling or a rubber shoe pivoting, something stupid like that. You you honestly think we'll get audio of rocks rustling around here? <laughs> what? <laughs>
another paranormal hotspot is the two-story assay building, once used to produce bars of semi-pure gold and silver. Back in the day, this building contained a vault where these bars and precious metals were kept safe. It's said that the whole city in general was lawless and ran rampant with crime. I love it. Especially, crime's even better when it just involves bars of gold. So also, one interesting fact about the city that I haven't included is it was ran mostly by vigilante justice. Oh! So there was just, people were running amok, stabbing people in the neck. This is it, great. I'm a big fan of the West, you know? Yeah, Cowboys, yeah. Westerns. I like Deadwood on HBO. It was a lot going. It was action, dancing, gold, Dan smooching. Dancing. Dancing, gold, smooching, action. That's all they did back in the day. Lordy. Yeah, that sounds like your kind of town, except for the action part. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a, I'm more more of a, a rocking guy. You're more of a dancing and smooching kind yeah, of guy. Bring me some gold, bring and me then, some smooches. And then running away from the action. Oh, action? <laughs> Even so, the assay building, due to the valuables that it was protecting, was reportedly under constant attack by avaricious bandits hoping to procure the gold inside. While we have no documentation confirming these attacks, one could assume that such a violent area may have resulted in some deaths, perhaps explaining the negative feel reported by visitors to the assay building. People have reported rocks being thrown and dust falling from the ceiling as if someone is above. One investigator captured an EVP of someone saying, get out. Oh, there is a rat. There is a big ass rat. Where'd he go? He's behind the tarp. Ain't that just like a rat? This is pretty intense. This looks like some kind of kiln of some sort, I'm not sure, but... A furnace, maybe. Yeah. At this moment, our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a loud whisper. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you think that is? Well, I think it's a whisper, but that's also because, if you notice, it's going over my voice. Yeah. It sure is. I think it's fair to say it's not either of our voices. Here's the thing, there's so many different noises going on at once here. And then, what, what there's a ghost whisper somewhere in this little moment? Yeah. And what does it say? It just goes... <laughs> <laughs> that's I think that's the, the message from the great beyond. Well, God said, go back to Earth. You're not done yet. I want you to tell them something. Oh, what do you want me to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody in here with us right now? Other than the rat. Other than the rat? So this is the storage room. This is where they actually kept all the bars of gold. There's a vault in here somewhere. Right. And I imagine this is the room that was under constant attack by bandits. Maybe there's some leftovers. I doubt it. Holy moly. How are you feeling, Ryan? Does this like place this. spook you? Or? Yeah, I don't like that room. What don't you like about this room? Oh, God. Is there anybody in here with us? I feel like there is. Do you feel someone in here? Oh, there's another rat. Where? On the ground. Dead? No, he's moving around. He's under the wood. Oh. Just a heads up. Right now we are in the living quarters of the assay office. We have a motion light right there. We're gonna ask something to walk near that table. I mean, there's a tripod right there. There's a tripod right there. There's our GoPros. Obviously Shayna has a camera. We are the only ones in this building. Nobody else in the room. This is gonna be insane. If this turns on, I'm going to lose my mind. If you're here once again, please step near that table. There's a white box on top of it. Just step near it. This table. Oh, this is making me so sad. I'm not going to gloat here because <laughs> just at a certain point I feel bad for you. <laughs> what happened to the thing where you talked to them like like you're one of their pals in the era. Well, like a, like a cowboy accent like this. Howdy, I'm just here to steal your gold. You can do me a favor. Take that gold right there on the table. Didn't take you for a coward. Hmm. I guess that's all you are. I stole your gold and your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Another troublesome landmark at Vulture Mine is the hanging tree that still stands on the property. I just like that they found one good tree and they were like, that's the one. This one's sturdy. We're gonna use that over and over. It's not doing anything else besides casting shade. 
Not huh. throwing shade, but casting shade. Do you, do you think people felt bad catching shade from that tree on a sunny oh, day? I can't imagine they picnicked under the hanging tree, especially because a lot of times they just left the body hanging there. What? Anyways, moving on. In fact, some believe that Henry Wickenburg, who at the end of his life declined in both health and wealth, committed suicide by gunshot near this tree. Either way, the remains of Wickenburg's personal cabin still sit by this tree. But as the name would suggest, this tree held a much more ominous purpose. According to legend, as many as 18 miners were hung from this very tree between the 1860s to about 1900, the crime being stealing. It's said that hangings at this time were particularly brutal due to the fact that the condemned person was set on a rock, which was then kicked out from under him. Using this method, the amount of time it would take to die slash suffocate could take between two minutes and two hours. Oh, no neck snapping, huh? No. They would just sit there on their tippy toes, and eventually they would get tired, and they That's would rude. slowly suffocate. Yeah, I know. You just want to just be a gentleman. If you're going to hang someone, be a gentleman oh, about well, it. Also, don't steal. You, you want to dance with the devil, you got to live with it when he sets you on fire. Okay. You can embroider that on a pillow or something? No. It's a very, uh, it's like old ax ma maxim. It's, I don't think that's actually, I just made that up. Oh, very good. Okay, okay. very good. Great. Even more horrifying, they apparently wouldn't bury the bodies in a cemetery, but instead on site. Some believe there are bodies littered around the area. I mean, this is a hell of a tree. I mean, it definitely has character. It looks like a Tim Burton tree. This looks like one of those Wizard of Oz trees that comes to life and fucks you up. By the way, this foundation. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. <laughs> was that a bat or was that a bird? We're in bat country, buddy. Fucking, I, got, I don't want them flying towards my face all the time, Jesus. This is uh, Wickenburg's house right here. The man himself, the guy who pretty much died in the streets. <laughs> Oof. Why don't we just reach out right here, in between okay. the hanging tree and Wickenburg's Perfect. house. Kill two birds with one so stone. He, I do like that his home was right by the tree. He was like, well, well, we'll hang these men right outside my bedroom window. <laughs> He probably likes sipping on a little cup of tea, watching them kick to their death. And that's what you get, stealing from our minds. Jesus. Maybe was, this guy did deserve to die in the streets. Yeah. All right, if there's anybody here right now, whether it be Henry or any of the 18 anonymous who hanged from this tree. Oh, I got a sudden hint of bravery right now. Use it. Please take advantage of this yeah, moment. I'm feeling brave right now. Put him in his place. Yeah, show yourself. If there was actually 18 people who met their death at this spot, show yourself. Oh, that's just the, it's just the camera hitting the branches. I immediately lost all the courage I had as soon as I heard a noise. <laughs> he, he thinks you're cowards. I don't, okay, I, don't, I retract that. I was- Thieves. I was in a moment of, I, I think I'm a little, it's a little hot Scoundrels. out here. I got a little bit of heat stroke. Scoundrels! Arguably the most active area on the property is the old schoolhouse used to educate the children of the miners. People have reported seeing a dark figure and hearing children's laughter. In one instance, an investigator was physically attacked by being pushed. Rumor has it that near the schoolhouse, there is a mass grave of children who died of the plague, feeding the spiritual activity within the house. So what's the factual basis behind the plague? What plague? I don't know. You <laughs> There's no records, all right? You know, sometimes- What plague? What, did a teacher just like open up her mouth and flies came out and- <laughs> I don't know. It says, rumor has it, there's a mass A lot grave. of rumors in this one, huh? They're trying to figure out why this house is so active, full of school children. Yeah. And uh, rumor is there's a mass grave and that's all I could offer. So when you read something like that, are, are you gonna be scared tonight to go over there? Yeah, I'm gonna be scared. I'm scared sitting here. I got scared by rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> This is the main room. I'm guessing this is where the kids were taught. There's a chalkboard. They will come for you. I heart ghost kids. Hmm. I heart ghost kids. Now, once again, people hear laughter in here. Some people have even said they think they heard the piano play. God, I hate this whole building. How about this room, huh? Oh boy. Not bad. This is a nightmare. Look, it says help on the wall. Oh my god. What? It's a fucking dead bird. What? Oh, that's an omen or something. Why is there a dead bird in here? There was probably a live bird in here and then something happened that made it dead. Oh, great analysis, Doc. 
Oh, Jesus, it's so rotted. Its eyes are gone. This is horrifying. Well, its eyes aren't going to stick around. I wonder what's in that closet. Nope. I don't, don't even check. I'll check. What if I open this and a thousand rattlesnakes jump out? Then I'm going to run. All right. Let's boogie, boys. It's a mattress. And dirt. As Shane looks inside the door, our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a whisper from a small child. And dirt. Again, I don't find it compelling. I'm not, I don't listen to these and outright think I'm gonna deny all of these just because I have to prove a point. Will I you just don't least, find it very compelling. Will you at least admit that it's more compelling than the other one? Yeah, it sounds like something being scraped. It sounds like a Are scrape. Are you kidding? <laughs> this one sounds like a kid. That sounds like a kid. To me it does, like an evil little kid. On the first day of kindergarten, the teacher goes, and what's your name? And the kid says, <laughs> What's in this one? <laughs> this is fun, because now you have to open this door, because I opened that one. What if you pick the wrong one, and there's like a, a clown with a decaying face in there? <laughs> what if you pick the wrong one, and there's a fucking clown with a decaying face in there? Open the door, stop joking. What if, okay, I'm running, just letting you know. It's a lot of, a lot of glass. Just a closet, just a closet, just a closet. Just Don't a closet. step on the bird. All right, we're gonna kill our lights, and when we do. Hey, by the way, this is growth. You're killing your light without even whining about it or being afraid. I, I wanna find some proof. Okay, cool. Please communicate with us. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, if there's anybody here right now, um, make a noise, move something. I guess touch us if you want. Touch us. Shut up, Shane. I, I think that door's open. I didn't want to say anything, but it's, oh, it is. it's moving. Is that upsetting to you? I think that door's opening. It may be the wind. I'm gonna say it's the wind. If that is you opening the door, please swing it open. Oh God. It is certainly opening. Oh my God, I can't get any chills. <laughs> it, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Put your hands on my shoulder. I'll keep my back to you. God, I don't even need to see you. Open that door wider and wider. Oh my God, yes. I'm getting uh, my my every, I goose all the hair in my body standing up right now. Ugh. Come on, children, push that door open. Clean. Okay, we're leaving now. I'm gonna turn my light back on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if it was actually opening or if it was just. Oh, it was opening. Oh, was it? My heart is beating so fast. I need to get the fuck out of here. All right. To finish this out, let's visit one of the entertainment venues much like a miner after a long day. One of these venues was a bordello that still stands today. It is here that the spirit of a woman named Mexican Rita is said to exist. All right, this is the bordello suite. It's where the fellows went to get their uh, carrot waxed, so to speak. That is not a euphemism. Oh, it is. They, their carrot was shiny. <laughs> Let's play a game of bury the corn cob. <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. Ooh, I don't like it in here. No? Jokes aside, I, I kind of hate it in here. Ooh, boy. Oh, holy fucking god damn it, more bats. Jesus <laughs> Christ, with the bats in this place, fucking. All right, ready? I'm gonna be silent. At this moment, our audio recorder picks up a voice possibly saying what? 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 Again, it doesn't sound like a voice. That clear, okay, what did you think it saw? It just it, sounded like us moving around. You, okay, you, we, listen we to were it both again. crouched on the ground moving around. Yeah, listen to the, listen to what word you think this is saying. I think it's pretty clear what it's saying. What? What? I, I guess I could hear a what? Thank you, thank you. That clearly sounds like what to me. Yeah, it could also be 20 other things. What? Okay, at least say this. It's more compelling than the other two. It's the best you've gotten so far. But Ever? it also sounds... Yeah, probably. It's pretty good, right? Anything else you have is shit. <laughs> shit. Rita. Rita, or maybe one of the gents. Henry, if you used to frequent the Sportella, or is anybody in here with us? What's your name? 
What did, what did you stop in for? We know what they stopped in for. They well, came like in here I want to, specifics. You mean they came in here to get their pickle polished? It's pretty obvious. I know. <laughs> oh, the bat's back. Maybe let's move to the other room. Oh, there's two rooms. Oh, this must. Okay, so these must be. Oh, seven. there's more bats. Oh wait, there's two bats. In here. Oh, there's three. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is bat so, oh, There's so many bats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too many bats. If I left a Yelp review of this place, it would say far too many bats. Far too many bats. We get it with the bats. Yeah, 20 too many. One bat's fine. That's kind of cute. At this point, who are you trying to impress with But all a the band bats? of bats, come on, man. It's a goddamn party city. Nobody needs that many bats. No one can say for certain if the former residents of Vulture Mine haunt this historic site. It was a place of great prosperity, but also violence and tragedy making it reasonable to expect spiritual artifacts. But whether or not Vulture Mine is definitively haunted will remain unsolved. Hey Ryan, I like your shirt. Thanks, I like yours too. Thanks, buy it here.